So for today, we're going to be checking out Eververse. This is usually the first video I do. I will be making a video about Eververse, about the seasonal pass. If I don't make it in this one, we'll be looking at some of the stuff that's in the, se in the season slash expansion. And we'll also be looking at armors and whatnot there's gonna be a lot of content this week and next week pretty much the whole month probably and then this friday elden ring comes out so it's gonna be wild so stay tuned not only that i haven't forgotten about the other content that i have in mind as well so uh if you guys like the videos if you guys appreciate the hard work this is gonna be because this is gonna be a lot of hard work uh liking the video subscribing even commenting they, that all really helps the channel and it helps me motivate myself to keep going so without further ado let's just get right into it first and foremost this video is going to be about everest that's the one i usually go to because uh i just like to see all the stuff that we're getting this season and first and foremost we're going to be looking at everything here and i am already kind of like hype so this armor set i'm going to be showing you each of the classes uh uh in separately so they should be up right now these all look really good in my opinion uh I can't give you my opinions on the Titan and Warlock just because I haven't seen them. They're not in front of me, but I will say that the armor that we got and the armor that we saw don't seem to match in my opinion. For example, the chest piece for the Hunter did not look like this. It actually looked like it was an engraved piece of the armor itself, not like a hologram. It could I could be wrong, but that's like what I remember it looking like. So. I will probably have a picture of it right now. If that's the case, let me know what you guys think. I don't really think this armor looks that great now, just because with the engraving, it did look a lot better. And the purple was a little bit more, more deep in my opinion. Um, the bow here is really cool, but I don't know. I don't want to say I'm disappointed, but it just kind of feels like, like I got gypped because again, the swords were more like engravings than anything else, but again, I could be wrong. Um, for the exotics, we have the Sweet Embrace for the Hunters, which is another ornament for the... I forget what this exotic is called. What's, what is this called? Uh, Omniculus, uh, which is cool. Uh, we already have an exotic that has like an organic look. This looks really cool though, because it, obviously these look like hands, so... I know a lot of people are going to like this a lot. And then the other one is going to be the Tekeli, the Tekeli Lee, the Tekeli Lee. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. I wonder if the green is going to be able to be shaderable. But even then, this is going to be really good to use because uh, there's a lot of piece. Well, I'm thinking about the Season of the Undying ornaments or the Season ar Armor first, where it had like, like moss growing out. I think that with this would be really good. And then we have some exotics, which looked pretty cool. Dragon bone for what the fuck is this called? Uh, Deathbringer. It looks pretty cool in my opinion. It's most likely an ornament. Yeah, it looks like an ornament from uh, that's inspired by an Ahamkara. It looks really cool. I kind of wish this back piece, like the whole thing was just Ahamkara, like spine or whatever. Uh, the logic for this this sword. I forget what it's called. What is this sword called? The lament. I'm so I'm apologize I haven't been playing destiny 2 in a while. So like a lot of exotics are just like escaping me right now This looks cool. Def definitely looks really cool uh, Endless appetite for the parasite, which is a new exotic that we got this season So I haven't gotten it myself, but it looks pretty cool It looks really cool and then that's actually it uh, for right now, I will show you guys the Titans and the Warlocks ornaments, so.
So Titans, Hunters, Warlocks, let me know what you guys think about your ornaments for this season. I think they look pretty cool considering the Sweet Embrace is really cool. The Tekeli Lee is also pretty cool. And I've already given you my thoughts on the Titans and Warlocks. So other than that, that's pretty much it for Eververse. She's not packing way too much. She obviously has a bunch of ornaments like she usually does. But other than that, yeah, it's not that crazy. Uh, let's look at... Uh, the Katorier set is available in the Eververse now, so if you are interested, that's pretty cool. You also have Guardian Pack. Does this does this come with an armor too? Because it looks like it comes with armor. Uh, and then over here is just going to be a bunch of stuff for for your class, usually ornaments, and at the end, it weapons as well. For this week, Zer is sell or Zer <laughs> for this week. Uh, Eververse is selling victory dance from season of the hunt a uh, shell that i don't care about vitreous entrance and then seven sisters this is a pretty good shader if i remember correctly if the game will ever look yeah uh oh this is the one that makes your your uh your cloth look like space it looks pretty cool depends uh depends how you think about it for the bottom part, we have a few shaders. We have Amethyst Veil again. I will definitely be showcasing this, the shaders in a bit, but let's look at the up here first. Keep it clean, it's an emo. Uh, I would love to see it. There we go. So if you are interested, that's cool. Another uh, Surrender, another emo, which looks okay. Uh, another Shell. A sparrow that I didn't even know I had. Hive Smash, I'm pretty sure they were selling this last week, or although I could be wrong. Actually, no, I am wrong. They were selling it on, on the actual store page, not the not Glimmer or Brightest. So that's pretty cool. The Old Ways, this is a really good ornament for the fucking lightning gun. I forget what it's called. I love this this skin for it, though. It looks super cool. It almost looks like a staff to uh for Cloud Strike. There we go. And then let's look at the new shader first. Let's look at this pink and I don't know what the other color is like purple, not purple, but Ooh, it makes the cloth look weird. I am not a fan of this, but I'm going to obviously take it still. Just you may never know. Uh, oiled gunmetal is really good. If you want, want to make your guns look like guns, in my opinion, it looks really good uh, as a shader for armor. It looks okay. If you want to go for like a tactical look. Uh, for Amethyst Veil, I always say this if you are new light or if you're a new guardian or you just didn't weren't there for a season of the Menagerie, this is a really good shader to pick up. Not only are you going to get black and like a really dark blue, but if you have a glow, it also gives you a purple. And on some cases, uh, you will have purple as well. So this is like one of the best or, or one of the best shaders in the game hands down. So I would suggest you picking that up uh vibrant beach i also love this one a lot i'm lying i don't love it. yeah this shader is okay um i'm not the biggest fan of this color but blues the blues look on point and that's pretty much it for eververse this week um unfortunately uh eververse the first week of an expansion she really doesn't sell anything worthwhile i don't even think like the second second week as well usually it's like around the third to fourth week she starts selling stuff that people really care about and that's pretty much it for eververse let me know what you guys think in the comments below i'm very much excited to see what eververse is going to be selling this season just because i do think a lot of the ornaments are really cool and specifically like a lot of these are really cool i think the ornaments for the armor are super dope and obviously i want the armor I don't know if I want it on everyone, even even for the hundred. Let's just like for for one, the purple is not going to be able to change color. So this is strictly only purple. And unfortunately, it's not like a really deep blue purple. It's a more of a red pinkish purple. So that kind of annoys me. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, links are in the description below. I thank you all for coming to this point and I'll see you guys later.